Hey there, gardeners. You're watching Country Garden Girl, and I'm Bobby. I wanted to plant a new perennial bed and plant some del delphinium that I have. So I thought I'd take you along with me and we would just go through it from start to finish. I decided my first step should be to weed eat it down just as hard as I could. Uh, almost, you know, if you weed eat really hard, you, you almost burn the grass. And so I wanted to do that uh, to prepare the bed before I started, started, you know, trying to dig up the remainder of the grass. And now I'm using my DeWalt drill. It is a 20 volt drill with a 24 inch auger. And the auger is made by the company Power Planter. Uh, I love the Power Planter augers. We have a lot of rock here and I have several augers and they do a great job. It's a very good company. I can highly recommend it. And I was just basically loosening up the grass there. I'm not digging any holes at this point. Um, I'm just loosening up the grass so that you know I can get all the roots of the grass out. And I'm just doing a little edging here. I, I actually, I have an edging tool, but I prefer a shovel. I'm just, I don't know, I don't seem to do as well with the edging tool. So I like to edge my flower beds with a shovel. And it's always nice to put a nice edge on your flower beds. Uh, you know, you can kind of edge them at an angle, which I'm not real good at, but if you angle it in, then that way the, uh, the grass doesn't grow in, if that makes sense. So now it's time to actually dig the hole for my first delphinium. And um, I'm using my power planter here, auger. And uh, you know, I just, I alternate between the shovel and the auger using both. The ground is, I thought it would be a little bit uh, softer here, a little bit easier to dig, but it was pretty, um, pretty, pretty tough. So pretty compacted, but still it's, it's good soil. I was very happy with it. And so I had to clean it up a little bit, clean up the bottom leaves of the delphinium. Um, I always like to try to carry pruners with me. Uh, I don't always, I sometimes I forget and I have to go back to my greenhouse or wherever and get my pruners, but it's best to carry them with you. A little holster is great for that. So just cleaning up the bottom leaves a little bit. Now getting ready to put it in the ground. The root system looked really good. And it's important to not plant your perennials or shrubs or whatever uh, too deeply. And I'm adding a little bit of Biotone starter fertilizer in the hole. And um, as I was saying, I don't, 
I like, you know, just to plant just slightly above the soil level. So it almost looks like there it was a little deep, but I think that's just the angle of the ground. Um, so I, I was just really trying to make sure I got, got it just, uh, you know, just above the soil level, if that makes sense. And you can crown up the, the soil just a little bit. You just don't want to plant too deeply. And believe it or not, this other little plant is also a delphinium. I had it in another area, and it's the same variety of delphinium. Uh, and um, came out one morning, and a bunny had completely eaten it. It was it had it was beautiful, full of blooms, and the bunny had eaten it. So I decided, hmm, okay. Um, so I just decided to make a dedicated bed for these delphinium and I'm going and you'll see in a minute I'm going to try to make it so the bunny will leave it alone. And then you want to make sure to water water them in real well. Of course, after I watered and after I got done planting, after I got done with everything, then we had this beautiful rain, which I knew we they were calling for, but that's fine. And I decided to add compost uh, as a top dress. This is called Really Good Compost by miracle Grow. Sometimes I use leaf compost. That's my preferred compost. Uh, and sometimes I actually add compost to the hole when I dig, when I plant something, but I really liked the, um, the soil, the native soil. So that's best. Native soil is always best. And then I added some triple shredded hardwood mulch uh, just to top it off, try to keep the weeds and grass down. And these are some columbine seeds that I'm trying to show you here. Uh, I have a columbine planted right in the corner. It's a real pretty purple columbine. And columbine is very easy to grow from seed. So I just took the seed heads off of that. They were already dried and scattered them around. So we'll see uh, how many little columbine actually pop up next spring. So I'm just cutting some poultry wire here with my pruners uh, to place around the base of the, the delphinium because uh, the critters here, whether they be squirrels or skunks, I'm not sure, they like to dig up everything I plant. So I put um, poultry wire and I put it, use landscape staples to hold it down until they just seem to be, you know, not bothered about it anymore. Sometimes uh, they all smell the biotone starter and they want to dig that up and because it does have a, an odor to it. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, they, you know, I can take the chicken wire, the poultry wire up after a while, but uh, it's, it's a great deterrent to keep them from digging. And I'm also, because of the bunny situation, I'm putting um, just a little fencing around and obviously the bunnies can squeeze through um, can squeeze through the fencing, but I don't know. Hopefully it'll help just deter them. And I'll also spray with some Repelsol. Well, it doesn't look like much for now, but next spring it'll be beautiful. Hopefully I can keep the bunnies and so forth away from everything. And I'll find something better in the way of fencing. Um, that's just kind of a temporary deterrent hopefully for the to keep the critters away 
but I really appreciate you watching. Um, it means so much and thanks for subscribing and have a great day and happy gardening.